Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful rainy day in the end of April. Perfect day to get out in the woods and do some foraging. Uh, it's been a long winter and we're excited to get out in the woods. I got my golden fuzzy buddy with me and we're gonna go do some mushroom hunting. See what we can find. It's a little early for the morels here. Could find a couple, but they're probably gonna be very small just popping up. Probably a couple weeks away from primetime morel season. But specifically today, I am looking for gyromitra species, commonly considered false morels. Gyromitra species that primarily grows around here is uh, Gyromitra brunea or the brown false morel. And false morels are fascinating mushrooms and they have inspired many vehement debates on Facebook and other places on their edibility, toxicity. So gyromitra species contain a compound called gyromitrin and different species contain different levels and gyromitrin breaks down in your body in cooking into a compound called monomethylhydrazine, which is a rocket fuel additive and it's toxic. It's cytotoxic and it can make you very sick. So you would think they're poisonous, stay away, right? Don't eat them. <laughs> but uh, actually gyromitra species are one of the most commonly consumed mushrooms in certain parts of the world. Europe, Scandinavian countries especially. So Scandinavian countries you would say, yeah man, but you know, they treat fish with lye and bury them in the ground and eat all kinds of crazy stuff. So, well, good point, but this goes a lot deeper than that. As I said, the gyromitrin content can vary greatly between species. There are also cooking processes, mainly boiling for a short period of time, discarding the water, boiling again, that break down a good bit of the gyromitrin, even in species with high levels. So I am not commenting at all on the edibility of these. You really need to do your own research. Uh, I recommend if you are interested in doing some research, there's a Facebook group called False Morels Demystified. It's an awesome group. You can find a lot of really good research publications there. I'm not gonna go any further. Just uh, there's a lot online. Check out that Facebook group, make up your own mind and decide what you want to do. But beyond their toxicity, potential edibility, inedibility, and all this, they are a really cool mushroom. They are probably one of the coolest mushrooms you'll find in the woods. They grow pretty early. They're one of the first ones up in the spring. So I'm hoping we'll be able to find some today. And they are also a great indicator in the progression of the morel season. So, if you find the brown false morels, it probably means that your early morels, like for here, that would be Morkella punctipace, the half-free morels, are going to be up probably in a week or so after the gyromitra. And then the yellows, or Morkella americana in my area, are going to be up around the week after that. That's a rough guideline. Obviously, the seasons vary depending on where you're at. And the weather but that's just a general guideline of when prime time is going to be so if i'm able to find some of these gyromitra today i'll know about how far off i am from the true morels so let's get into the woods here and get looking Alright guys, we are in business. We have our first gyromitra. Let me move around them here, get a better angle. By this old dead log, probably a cottonwood log. I see three. They're actually growing. A couple of them are growing right out of this old dead rotten log, which is kind of cool. This is our target species, guys. This is gyromitra brunea. One just coming up there. 
pushing those leaves up and one more over there. See that really wavy lobed brown cap? The stem is actually white. This one's pretty covered in sand because I'm in some sandy soil here, but that is Gyromitra brunea. Just happened upon another cool spring edible. We actually have a whole field of them here. This is ostrich fern, also known as fiddleheads. This is the immature frond of the ostrich fern, and these are considered a delicacy. Find a lot of morels around ostrich fern. We got a big area of them here. This whole little bowl is just full of ostrich fern. Those dark brown fronds you see there, those are the fertile fronds from last year. They look, kind of look like feathers, ostrich feathers, I guess. So. That's where they get their name. You guys can see how rich loamy. This is like a rich sandy loamy soil here. This is prime time for your false morels and your morels. And this ostrich fern is loving it as well. So this is great, great soil here. I've been hiking for quite a ways and haven't found anything. And then I just found this one. Biggest of the day so far. Look at that guy. Yeah, how big it is here. That's my fist. So that is almost the size of my fist. That's a nice one there. Big boy. The other really cool thing about these is they're an indicator of morel habitat too. So if you're finding these, uh, there's a good chance that you may be able to find some true morels in a week or two in the same location. Look at that, and that is a beautiful, beautiful mushroom. I just love these things. I just appreciate them for how unique and beautiful they are. See, we got a little slug on this guy. Having a snack there. He's not scared of any monomethylhydrazine. Beautiful mushroom. You can see the cap is highly variable. Kind of convoluted here, but when it lobes away from the stem like that, that is indicative of this particular species, Gyromitra brunea. All right, guys, I think we're gonna call it a wrap. We're both pretty soaked and we didn't find a ton, but we didn't get skunked either. So in the spring, when you're out hunting morels, false morels, getting skunked happens. So definitely a good day, beautiful day. Love getting out here in the spring. It's a long winter and it feels so good to get out in the woods again. So don't forget to check yourself for ticks too. I always do that when I get home. Ticks have been really bad this spring so far. I found like four on him yesterday, one on me. So don't forget to do a tick check when you get home too and hit me up in comments. Let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you next video.